Barlow, Alan Shearer alongside Tim Howard, Robbie Earl, Robbie Musto. Just to let you know, we're going to show you all the goals from today coming up shortly here in Goal Zone. But as the Arsenal fans serenade us behind us with we are top of the league. Alan, what more can you say about this Arsenal team? That was about as straightforward as they come. Mean at the back, classy in midfield and deadly up front. They, it was near perfection, other than the first two or three minutes. There was never, ever any part of that game that I thought Arsenal wouldn't come out on top and take all three points. They were total dominant and deserved the win. Did what they had to do. They responded to the City result this morning and they responded in style. So do you see any weakness in any of the three title contenders? <laughs> no, but there's a story there for all three of them. For Arsenal, 20 years. What happened last year for Liverpool with Klopp leaving for City? No one's done it four times. So there's a different story for all three. We can sit back and enjoy it as the weeks go by. We love a story on television. Tim, I'm going to bring up a graphic now, which finally we've got to the stage of the season yeah. where we can fit the run-in into a graphic, because it's really important at this stage as everybody looks to see who Arsenal are going to play, who Liverpool and who City are going to play. Let's just take a look, Tim. So for Arsenal, uh, next up, it's Aston Villa at home, right? Then it's away to Wolves, Chelsea and Tottenham back-to-back. Home to Bournemouth, away at United, penultimate game of the season, home to Everton, May 19th. For Liverpool, tomorrow it's United away. Home to Palace, followed by Fulham away, and then the Merseyside derby, end of April, followed by West Ham on the road. Tottenham at home, Villa and Wolves is how they end at Anfield, May 19th. For City, it's Palace and Luton, Brighton, Forest, Wolves, Fulham and West Ham, which ain't a bad run. At the bottom of your screen, Tim, you see they've got Tottenham away, which is most likely to be scheduled in that final week of the season. So when you look at the run-ins, Tim Howard, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> it's, you can't pick it. I mean, it's... Ah, uh, you got to I, I will, of course I will. I, look, Arsenal's running is so, so difficult. I've always stuck with Arsenal. I just believe that Liverpool are in pole position with their running and with, and with the fact that I think they can go two points clear tomorrow. Robbie Musto, if you're just looking at run-ins, are you looking at City? Um, yes, but I'm looking stronger at Liverpool, and I'll tell you for why. What's not, what's not on that graphic yep. is the Champions League. Two games against Bayern Munich, Man City got two games against Real Madrid. They're the winners there might play each other. The effect and the, the afterglow of the Champions League sometimes takes a little bit of edge off. So I, I think we're all... Looking at that and forgetting about massive Champions League games for City and Arsenal with Liverpool in the Europa, are they that bothered about that? They can tilt towards the Premier League schedule. Are they that bothered about the Europa, Liverpool? Well, I think so, because they, they want trophies for that day in May when Jurgen Klopp's going around Liverpool. When I look at Arsenal, back at this time last year, Arsenal almost were fearful of the normative winning the title. This season, it looks to me like they're enjoying it. Now, your head tells you Man City or Liverpool because of the experience, but your eyes with what you see, and Al's right, defensively, midfield and going forward, your eyes could tell you that Arsenal can win it this time around. Alan, finally, for which club would it be bigger to win the title? <laughs> well, no-one's ever won it four times. I mean, that, that great side of Manchester United, 99, when they won the treble, we've all looked back and said, what a, what a great side with a great manager. So I suppose... If Man City go and do that again, and with the chance of also winning the Champions League again, that would be an incredible story. But the story's for the other two as well. No, you're absolutely right. It's so difficult to call. I feel like I'm asking the guys this every week because it is such a difficult one. Um, Al, we're going to let you go in just a tick, but you've come to virtually every fan fest that we've done so far in Nashville. What's been the moment for you? The moment for me is Newcastle winning and seeing a Newcastle fan with his dog on a skateboard. <laughs> and the dog is also in the kit as well. <laughs> that was brilliant. The dog in the kit on the skateboard. There he is coming down <laughs> Broadway with his sunglasses. Absolute winner. Robbie Muster, your moment of Nashville so far. Well, I think we're here in the Music City and I think opening this, this fan fest and the show with our little video that we that recorded something. a couple of weeks ago with me playing a guitar with these two... Playing. Guys singing. <laughs> yeah, inverted commas playing. That was a fun moment. I loved it. I thought it was cool. Elsa? Well, me and Musty used to go at it in midfield, kicking each other. And then who'd have thought I'd be in Nashville, standing behind Robbie Musto, line dancing, with Musto having some steps I'd never seen before. He was kind of making up a few steps. So line dancing with Robbie Musto has to go down as a highlight of the week. And somehow, 
Tim Howard makes everything look cool. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Tim, let's finish with you, your moment so far in Nashville, Tim. Well, I'm glad you said it, Vax. Listen, <laughs> when you play football, you have to have a really good pair of boots. And when you're in Nashville, you got to have a great pair of boots. So that was the highlight for me. I got a nice new pair of boots. You're all, you're all natural. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I get to finish this as well. My moment so far has been interviewing Sir Mo Farah. Okay. I mean, I get to do it again tomorrow as well. I'm sure you guys remember back in 2012, that Super Saturday, that moment when he ran around what is now West Ham United Stadium and the whole of Great Britain went mad. Four-time Olympic gold medalist. That was a moment for me. Alan, thank you so much. Thank you. Today. We will see you soon. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.